you, you started? Yes. Hey guys, um, <laughs> this is your boy Vag Vag, and I'm sitting down with Shamu Blanc. Um, today the 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 subject gonna be like um um Shum. So tell me how you think a man supposed to treat his woman. Speak louder. Come close. Oh my God. <laughs> Come close, like. <laughs> a, I got you. Where I'm supposed to be at, like. Oh my Come God. Come close. I, I switch place with you, though. Come here. But just... you gotta be in the picture too. I can't just be going like this and like this. Yeah, I have to be in the same. Ah, right, just zoom it. I did. All right. Just but that's not helping the sound. Okay. Right. Really? Um. Yeah. Sure, man. So tell me how you think a, a man is supposed to treat his woman. What you mean by the item? Right. A lot of guys who just got with a female, yeah, she got nice ass, nice tits, you know, but not really see her for, for who she is, you know, her intelligence. You know? I, I go up on three things when I pick a lot. Physical, mental, and spiritual. Those are the three things that you should look for. You know, the three things that you should look for. She don't got those three things. Don't mess with me. Okay. Um, what is the word? Um, expand on the three things. You gotta go into detail. Yeah. <laughs> Do more details about it. Mental. We're gonna start off with that. Um, that's basically like how knowledge is because you know like what you know, like education, how she graduated school, what you just see when you should see herself going. You know, those are the common things that you should ask her mostly about, like how she sees life, how she views life. That's number one. You know, if you're like, oh, I'm just, just out there, just relaxing, sitting on a rock. Nah. <laughs> sitting on a rock. So if you find a girl right now and you ask that girl, um, What's a short goal term is? Uh, Wait, you didn't let him get to the other ones. He no, had I mean, I know, I know, about. I know, but I, I just want to ask, like, you know, if you find a girl, right, and you ask that girl, like, tell me what your short, I mean, short term, I mean, goals and everything. And if she don't, if she, if she doesn't have a, a long term, I mean, goals in life, so do you think that you, you can still, I mean, to talking to that girl? Uh, well. You can, but you know she can have a short-term girl. You know you can still stick with that. You know you can see where she's going. You can maybe help her in a way. You know to her long-term goal, which can benefit her and benefit you at the same time. So what's the second thing? Okay, so we talk about mental. Yeah. Now, oh, physical. Okay. So you want a woman that's in shape. You don't want a woman walking around. You know. She can't, if something happened, she can't run. She's slow, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you five blocks away, she's still on the first block, you know what I mean? You know, you want somebody that's physically, that you, you know, compatible with, that you can run, you can exercise, you know. It's basically that, you know? But not every woman um, knows how to run, basically. You know, let's say, like, it's a gunshot, right? Cause I know we men. Oh no, yeah, tell gonna... them how about the uh, love violence thing about we, we're gonna what you be doing. We're we gonna get there. We're gonna get there. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a, like I mean a gunshot. Bang! You with your woman, you know, enjoying yourself, and you heard that gunshot. But the first thing in your head is just, hey, I don't want to die. So you are just trying to save yourself. But I mean, by running, but if you look behind and see that girl behind you, so what's gonna be your reaction? Are you gonna, I mean, wait for her or go get her or just keep running and be like, girl, I see you home, I'll take you later to see if you're still alive or something? <laughs> I mean, basically, I don't know. Well, <laughs> but I you know, think if you're in immediate danger, you're not gonna turn around. Exactly, because you're trying to save yeah. yourself, because everybody <laughs> save your own self. Like, the, this is, I mean, me, basically. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean I'm not gonna look that. I mean, behind to see where that girl at, but I'm not gonna go back and be like, oh, let's go, let's go. You know, I'll probably stay like five blocks away and be like, yo, yeah, come on, come on. If she don't wanna come on, so I, mm -hmm. I, I send you a text later. <laughs> you better not leave me. <laughs> but um, 
that's where it goes, you know, like, physical. That's where it really comes in. Because I've been in predicaments where, like, you know, I was with a couple of people, you know, and some shit would go off. And everybody who be like, everybody knows what's happening, how to move in certain things. You know, once you know that, that's when the compatible comes in, you know, like, shit go off, y'all both know what to do. Ain't nobody scared, ain't nobody, oh my God, you don't know where to go. Everybody knows it's strategic, you know, we gonna go, we gonna meet up, you know. Nobody's gonna be fast in a predicament, that's what happens. But if y'all know what y'all doing, y'all gonna move quick, and I don't move slow. That's, that's for the physical, right? So... Um, do you have any questions? What that? was the last one? Oh, the last one, spiritual. Okay. Oh, that one uh, is basically like uh, it goes back to like how she views life, because how you view life you view yourself, you know, and what she believes in. You know, what? like for me, I'm a Christian. So if a girl's atheist, it's not really gonna work out so much, you know. Because I'm gonna have some views on things and have some knowledge on something. She might, you know, oh, I don't see it that way. You know, when it comes to passion, you know, well, it just happened. You know, nothing really happens for you. You know, everything happens for a reason. So it's kind of like a spiritual metaphor behind everything. It's not physical anymore. Um. All right. So you said you're a Christian, right? So um. Basically, I'm a Christian too, but they always said that, I mean, if you're a Christian, so you gotta date, I mean, Christian people only. You cannot just go, let's say, like, you're a Christian, so I don't think you wanna date somebody who's like a stripper or someone like who's outside. Like, I think you're supposed to, I mean, to be with somebody in church, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, Do you think it's, you? I mean, it's fair to just date only people who's like Christian or you can't? just go out there and save somebody's soul, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. By you being a Christian and trying to... I feel that way, like, you know, like, but I still look at it as, you know, you want somebody that understands the one most important rule that there is about, you know? A lot of people understand that, and that's when they get lost. Like, shit, I'll go with a stripper, I ain't going front, you know? Maybe I can help her get some bad at the end of the day. Shit, but still I could, you know, show, you know, there's other ways to make that money. She might be a grad student, you know, just doing it. And just by you influencing her, she leave that, find a regular job to do, and, you know, put her on her way. You know, save her life. But, yeah, I know, but, I mean, you know, if you're a Christian, so you got to go by the rules. So, you know, in church, it's like for everywhere else, like, there's a rule, so you got to follow the steps so so I don't think if you're a Christian you gotta go out there go to the strip club or go to a club you know dancing with I mean out people I I, I think you gotta stay like in a church you know what I'm saying you gotta deal with people basically in church you know what I'm saying so I don't think you wanna go out there and be like oh see that girl I know there's mad I mean pretty girls out there you know what I'm saying so we human so we make mistakes so basically so, but do you think, I mean, you're going to let yourself go for somebody who out there, or you're just going to go for somebody who's already in church that, you know, since you're a Christian, so I think you're supposed to be with somebody in church, not just somebody who out there, you don't know what they're doing, but I think it's fair to stick with somebody who's already in church. So what you think? Uh, now that you say that, you know, I'm really thinking about it. Yeah. Because, you know, y'all compatible together because y'all understand certain things. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, I, I would definitely go with girl that's in the church, because I don't know, I think it would be more safer, you know, yeah. going to the same laws, you know, you know how to do the same things, you know, yeah. I, would, I would say that, uh, I, mean, I don't even know, you know, shit. Yeah, that, that, that's a, that's a, a lot a good of church point. people are hypocrites, so don't solely go on somebody that's in church. So, I mean, yeah. I, I know, I mean, there's a, a lot, so, but I think, I mean, the spiritual one, so, so we're going to talk about that, but if you're, I mean, you're a Christian, so you find a girl out there, and, you know, Sundays, so, you know, that's when the day people actually go to church on Sundays, 
So if you let's say you decide to go to church on Sunday, so and you be like, yo, babe, um, today we going to church, and she said, no, I want to go to a club. So what? what, what mm-hmm. So what's gonna be your reaction? So what you gonna tell her? So would you let her go to? I mean, to the club, or you go to church, or go to the club with her? Or just so what you gonna do on that? Well, um, you see, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why she did. No, you're good. You can't be a part of it. Huh? You're good. You can't be a part of it. So, yeah. Um, no, it's fine. So, yeah. So, what's going to be your reaction if your girl, I mean, going out, it's just like, oh, that's my that's my friend, I mean, Cordy, so we got, I got to go out with my girl, so I don't know, I'm not going to church today. So, so what you going to do? Would you let her go out? Need to walk down friend? here? This way? No, no, no. We would just like to have a small talk. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you can be, are you guys good? You know, just trying to make a vlog. Did you post? A vlog? Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Sorry for interrupting. So, so yeah, what you said, we, your reaction gonna be your shorty said, oh me, I, I don't know about you. Today it's my girl's birthday, so we gotta turn up, and you wanna go to church. So, so, so what you gonna do? You could do both. Yeah, you know, but... Church in the morning, and then yeah, she could turn up in the afternoon. She's talking about she want to go to the club in the morning, like, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up, bro? I ain't cut my hair, man. I picked it up, man. And everything with him. Uh, Why? You got to have both names and everything. You don't want to just be like, oh, that No, guy? but he already, I mean, some of his part, so I want to know exactly what he So was. ask him his name and everything. Uh, you, you started? Yes. Um... We got another boys with us, like, so what's your name, man? Grant. Grant, that's, I mean, nice to meet you, man. So we're trying to do that vlog. So trying to ask um, a few men, I mean, um, tell me, I mean, for yourself, man, how you think you're supposed to treat a woman? I mean, I think a woman's supposed to be treated, like, to me, what uh-huh. I think, like, you're supposed to, know, I mean, a woman's supposed to be treated how you want to be treated. Like, you want to be treated nice, then you're supposed to treat the lady nice. Like that's what I feel. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> everybody different, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he already, I mean, basically said, I mean, everything about, I mean, how he's going to treat this woman. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, and the other question mm. was how do you want to be treated like that? So, yeah, you asked the question. You didn't answer that question. You didn't ask him that question. What? I mean, how he want to be treated by a woman, not how he's going to... Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. How I want to be treated by a woman. Yeah. Okay, um, first thing, you know, with respect, you know, as equal, and um, not as an item, because, you know, I had a couple of girls who were like, oh, you're my trophy boyfriend. What? Because you're Jamaican. And yeah. I'm like, okay. Oh, Jamaican, Jamaican, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, don't, don't pay attention. Yeah. You know, like, I, it's basically respect, you know, and seeing as an equal. And, um, you know, should be, like, glad for my presence to be around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know, as an equal. Yeah. <laughs> so, what about you, Green? So, how you think um, your female should fit you, you know, if, you, if she wants you around? How you said? Um, tell me how you want your woman to treat you for for to you to keep you around. to oh, keep you. Oh. Um, yeah. I mean, she gotta be. I'm not really like. It's weird. I don't like arguing. I hate arguing. Trust me, I, I don't um, like it. Too. What else? I don't like arguing. I'm like very romantic and stuff. Like I like to do things on surprise. Like I won't tell her that I'm gonna give her something. I just give it to her. That's just me. Like a bag of cookies. Uh, yeah. Like, what? Give her some candies you said or something. <laughs> Female, I mean, loves cookies <laughs> and candies and everything. I think I think it's just genuine showing affection. You know what I'm saying? If I show her affection, then of course she's gonna show me affection. Uh, yeah, but when I show this one affection, he's like, "Okay, are you done? Are you?" <laughs> so, um, I know you guys out there. I mean, doing your things and everything. 